yes this is what my skin used to look like and this is what it looks like now you probably cannot tell i do suffer from acne and hyperpigmentation and today i'm going to show you how i prevent acne breakouts and how i treat my hyperpigmentation so if you're interested just stay tuned shops a lot i'm danny i do reviews on skincare makeup pretty much anything you could buy online so if that's your type of content go ahead and tap that subscribe button real quick today i am talking about all the products i use to prevent acne and treat my hyperpigmentation here are all the products that i use specifically for my acne and hyperpigmentation those are all my cleansers and the treatments that i use and also my go-to sunscreen hydrolyzer by Fenty. Okay, so let's start with the acne prevention. For everybody, it's gonna be different. You have to figure out like what's causing the acne. It could be a lot of different things. It could be your diet, medications, even like medical issues, just like weird habits that you have. For me, I used to touch my face all the time, pick my face, eat oily stuff, not drink enough water. I just had to stop all of those habits. And then obviously I saw a decrease in my acne, but still like I needed to figure out a good cleansing routine and figure out a way to balance my oils on my face. I'm an oily girl. So if I could keep the oil decreased, then you know it's less likely that I'll get any acne. So no acne bumps leads to no or less hyperpigmentation. So that's pretty much how it goes. If you control your acne, you can decrease your hyperpigmentation significantly or like get it down to nothing. But as long as you're gonna get acne bumps, you know, if you're melanated, you're probably gonna get some type of hyperpigmentation afterwards. So for me, I had to end all of my bad habits with my skin, get a good cleansing routine and get something to balance my oils. So for cleansing, I either do a single cleanse with just foam or just my gel cleanser, or I'll do a double cleanse with something like the oil cleanser and then follow up with the foam or even do the oil cleanser and then follow up with the gel. It depends on what I feel like my skin needs at the time. If I feel like my oils are like a little more revved up, I might do the oil and then follow up with the gel cleanser because it has salicylic acid in it. You know, it's good for treating acne. But if it's a normal day and I just need to get off my makeup or my sunscreen, do a double cleanse i would do the oil cleanser and then the foaming cleanser so the oil cleanser that i've been using is the number one quick clean from numbuzzin to use this you want to start with a dry face take a couple pumps one or two pumps rub it all over your face and then add a little bit of water and then emulsify that basically like just rub it together and it's gonna get really milky and then you rinse that off when you rinse that off you're still gonna feel like a little bit of like an oily residue on your face and that's when you follow up with the foam cleanser i use this one from the body shop i love this cleanser and it smells good or i'll do the murad acne control and like i said this one has salicylic acid in it too so for oil control, I use two different products. They're both from The Ordinary. I use The Ordinary's AHA and BHA peel. I use this once a week. If I really, really, really want to push it, I'll use it as a spot treatment a second time in the week. But usually I just apply this over my face once a week, let it sit for like nine minutes and then rinse it off. And the other product I use, I talk about this all the time, is the Niacinamide and Zinc serum from the ordinary i used to use this every single wash morning and night i have kind of replaced this in my morning routine with something else and i'm going to talk about that on another video but i do still use this at night especially on my cheeks and my chin every single night two drops real quick or sometimes i put one drop and spread it across that's if i'm trying to layer my skincare which i just figured out how to do oily skin so i'll be making a video about that too soon and so the last thing i would say i use for acne prevention would be this drying solution so if i do get a bump 
I'll put this on this and it'll decrease the size. If it's decreasing the size of the bump, it's going to decrease the size of the hyperpigmentation scar that I'll have afterwards. It doesn't completely prevent the acne, but it does decrease the effect and it, you know, decreases the work you're going to have to do when you're treating the hyperpigmentation that the bump will leave behind. So when it comes to treating my hyperpigmentation, I definitely use this for the oil control and also for a peel to peel away any dead skin and scarring on my face. So this actually has like a double purpose in my skincare routine. I have two different serums that I use. At night, I use the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. Most of the time I use this as a spot treatment. So I know some people, you know, complained a little bit in my last video about the price of this, but if you're only using it to treat your dark spots, this will last you a long time. I've had this bottle for at least two years and I still have quite a bit of product inside of there. I can feel it, you know, you can't see it, but I can feel it. <laughs> I also use the Fenty's, what is this called? Yeah, the Fenty's Wash Your Tone. First of all, look at the packaging. It is so cute. Like, instead of squeezing the bottle, you just like push down this little button and the serum comes out and you can kind of get as much as you need or as little as you need. And so I do use this in my morning routine. Most of the time I use it as a spot treatment. Every now and then, like if I know I'm not going outside, I'll just put it on my whole face and it'll help with the tone of my overall face. Yeah, by the way, I did do my eyes, eyebrows, lips, but I don't have any foundation on, any powders, any serums. Like I just washed my face today. Oh no, I do have this on, but it doesn't like leave a sheen or anything. This is more so to treat your skin tone. But yeah, I didn't even put sunscreen on. Like this is my face. And for sunscreen, I use the Hydrovisor by Fenty Skin. This was my first product I got from Fenty Skin. I got a sample from Sephora and I tried it while at the time I was using Black Girl Sunscreen and it's like a moisturizing sunscreen and I'm oily. Generally, I don't need the extra moisture. I love that sunscreen. I definitely would recommend it to anybody who is more on the combination normal or dry skin type but for oily girls just go ahead get you this it has niacinamide in it also which helps to balance your oils and i believe it helps with skin tone too don't quote me i will verify right here but um yeah this is sunscreen that i use every day i absolutely love it and once again like i love the packaging it's like this little tube on the inside you can replace i don't know if you can see them Almost done this one, but you pop it in and twist it up and down when you want to use it. When you twist it up, you just push it down and it comes out. I usually use one pump of this and spread it lightly across my whole face. This is also on the pricier side, but I only use one pump anytime I'm going outside. So I feel like it's worth it. I have so many of these now, like I stocked up on these once I realized just how good this was for my skin. So yeah, treating acne and hyperpigmentation basically just boils down to being consistent. If you consistently treat your acne, it's going to decrease. If you decrease your acne, your hyperpigmentation is going to decrease. While you have hyperpigmentation, just be consistent on treating it. It will go away on its own, honestly, over time. But if you want to speed that up a little bit, get some treatments, use sunscreen, and just take care of your skin. If you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and hit that like button, tap the subscribe button, share this video with a couple of your friends or family members, anybody who you feel might benefit from this information or just be interested in the channel. I really appreciate the support. You know, you girl is just getting started. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. I have a bunch of skincare videos coming up. I have to do a full review on Fenty skincare, some new products I got from them buzzing. And yeah, I just got a lot of good information coming to you guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Some people be like, hit the bell. You don't got to hit the bell, but just check back in. <laughs> I'm not asking to be in your phone notifications, but it'd be great if you guys subscribe and share. And until next time, bye.